Captain gets all the support he needs uh, to help the players on the court. The captain is under a lot of pressure, goes with the flow, goes with the emotions, has to stay above that. So trying to the, the analysis that we do on the on the little computer, the digital tennis uh, coach is something that um, well it helps actually to um, to look at it in uh, more statistically a little bit more uh, dissecting the different rallies. So what I do on this little uh, device is I uh, put it in and um, I take in every with with, uh, with my pen with my pen I take in where the ball is going and where it goes back and so I, re I record where we serve, what players are serving, what, what players are returning, what are the key shots for the rally and how the rally is finished. Mm -hmm. After a while you get them many different statistics coming out of that. This for instance is one that shows uh, where yesterday Greg Ellis, the opponent of uh, Ward, was making all the forced errors. The black lines show the mistakes on the forehand side, the white lines show the mistakes on the backhand side when he was under pressure. Mm -hmm. You can see that he was making a lot more mistakes on the forehand side than on the backhand side. Mm -hmm. And if I and you can look at that for instance per set, you can look at it for the whole match, depending mm -hmm. on what you want. You can have many, many different statistics coming out of this. Mm -hmm. And um, it is also for instance if I give you another example, if I look at another element is for instance I can show how the match flow was and mm -hmm. then you can see who scored yeah, wow. which points at what time mm -hmm. and uh, another element is I can go and look how the match strategically went which shows then who made points out of serve return in the rally on the baseline the um, purple thing showing mis unforced errors the blue thing showing winners from James Ward the red one showing winners from Regalis so mm -hmm. you can then see does my player play aggressive enough or should he be more under control, keep the ball under control? And it is these little elements that then you use during the match, but even much more so also after the match, mm -hmm. to maybe see whether there's any elements you can learn for the second day. Because, okay, today is the doubles day, so we're having a different situation. The mm -hmm. doubles players, different, different setup. But on Sunday, it will be the cross matches. So mm -hmm. you can then learn from that for the next matches and prepare the players. Great. And how did this come about, this little device here? Well, for years I've been um, working already on, on um, making score match, match charts during matches. And you can look at the match in so many different angles. How the match flows, but also on specific shots where you make mistakes, you make winners. Mm -hmm. Serve and return are so important for the game, so you start to chart that as well. A lot of pen and paper. And at some point I was really fed up with having to make always a choice what type of chart I made. So mm -hmm. then. I thought, well, why can't we not make this into a device that goes into the computer? Mm -hmm. started to talk with a computer expert who was also having a son that was playing tennis. Mm -hmm. And, well, gradually this grew into, into an application that, uh, that you could put on a, on a pocket PC. Fantastic. Great. Thank you, Stephen. And go. a message of good luck to the team? Yes, uh, go GB. Doubles today and uh, one more after. We're confident, uh, but we have to take it match by match. So. Fingers crossed for today.